Hi everyone and welcome to the Flosser Marketing School and today I will just uh, be brief and explain you how you can insert the Matomo tracking code within a Peertube instance. So here we have a Peertube instance, Matomo is already installed on the server and we are just wondering how we can insert uh, the tracking code within a Peertube. So the developer of Peertube uh, taught about it. So you just need to go here within administration, then configuration, then you need to click on advanced configuration. And here you can just copy and paste your tracking code and it will appear on the different pages of Peertube. That will be in a perfect world because uh, Peertube is uh, made in um, Angular. So uh, as you can see, if you look at uh, the source code of your page, you won't see uh, the tracking code appearing and in order to see it you will need to investigate by inspect the element and see that in this specific uh, situation if you refresh your page you will see that matomo will be called okay so that's where matomo is located so uh, here what is the pain is that in order to measure uh, the url you will see that uh, matomo does not get it automatically mm -hmm. so you will probably for that need to use what we call the hash change or at least that the method that i'm currently using since a couple of minutes and it seems that actually it's working a little bit um, so in order to use it you will just need to say okay uh, custom url and put the variable of the new url you would like to push and as well uh, you pick up the trigger which is the history change and as a result normally if you change from a page to another one it should send uh, the data uh, to matomo so to ensure that of course uh, you need to make uh, your preview on to check that the data is properly pushed so in my case as you can see um, i just get the page view and the page view is not firing any tags but if i click on this given link i will get the history change with uh, matomo uh, loading as you are in control of everything okay it's not like youtube so as you can insert matomo on uh, on the page and that you have access to the source code you can of course measure every interactions which are made on those given links over here and of course uh, measure that out to uh, Matomo so that's kind of very neat so just to give you one tiny example you can just uh, create your own tags over here like say okay I want to measure uh, the videos which are the most uh, liked so you can create like an event and say okay I want to push information like click and I want to get the video name and you of course execute that when uh, someone click on the like button so we just need to keep to pick up the dom element of the page when uh, someone click on the given element and then you will get data pushed uh, such as those in uh, in matomo so uh, the different pages that people look at and as well uh, the events so uh, for example in my case like click and the name of the video that you can easily pick up with uh, a variable so in my case that's the video name and the video name it just configure it uh, straight away like this like the css selector i mean all those are a uh, kind of configuration that i did in just two minutes so of course they are not uh, wisely uh, taught but just to give you um, an example of um, the lovely things that you can do with, with matomo and peertube as you are in control of everything thanks for watching and that's the end of um, the video for today so uh, as an exercise please try to deploy matomo on a peertube instance and try actually to um, measure any interaction that you have an interest in thanks for watching and please uh, do not share uh, uh, please share your video and do not hesitate to share uh, your own tutorial if you create some thank you